Hi guys, I'm Zach from Nerdworks Media and today I'm glad to introduce a new series to the channel, the Challenge Series. So in this series I'm going to be taking uh, a few different cars and people and versing them to a series of challenges against my Miata or two cars against each other. Today's episode, to start us off, I've got my dad. Say hi. Hello people. <laughs> and he's 4 litre V6 Toyota Hilux. Um, it's upgraded with Old Man Emu suspension, which means that it should be a lot more capable off-road than the standard car, I guess. Uh, and my car is stock, so let's hope for the best. We are doing a race from here, my dad's shop, to a shop in Walkable. Walkable. And uh, while well, I'm going to be driving on the normal tar roads and have to obey the speed limits my dad is going to be driving on the back roads the sand roads to get through and obeying the speed limits and still obeying the speed limits but speed limits on sand roads are still 80 whilst well, so i'm going to be stuck in traffic at 80 so i feel like you're going to do a lot better than i'm not we'll so to, sure <laughs> we'll have to see um but yeah that's about it uh let's get started yeah may the best man win and uh, worst child lose. <laughs> and with that, let's get down to the roots of the challenge. So our starting point is the Joburg South 4x4 Mega World, my dad's shop. From here, we will be traveling to the spa in Walkerville. Shown now on screen is my dad's route. My dad will be taking a combination of both on and off-road routes. However, my dad will majority be driving on sandy, corrugated roads. I, on the other hand, shown now by the purple route, will be taking a more direct route. I will first start by looping around and driving against the border of the Clip River Nature Reserve. After that, I hit main roads and can travel at 80 km per hour for the entire route until I hit the shopping centre. That all said, however, my dad should actually have a shorter journey despite my route being more direct because his route should have no traffic. I, on the other hand, am at the mercy of traffic. Right. And off we go. Right, Zach is to the left of me. We're leaving the uh, start point now. <laughs> Off we go. We're traveling in opposite directions, but we come out at the same end point. Now, I'm sure my dad thinks he's going to win because he's got that fancy suspension as well as he's technically I think got a shorter route than I do uh, but I don't know, I'm not so sure I think even though I have to obviously obey to speed laws and stuff speed limits I think I have a was an awesome four. Um, I think I have a better chance of winning because while my dad is yes maybe got a shorter route and he's got fancier suspension which means that he can actually drive faster on dirt and stuff I don't think he's going to be doing that I think the road is going to be way too rough for him to actually drive at any reasonable speed I guess we'll see. The main difference, of course, between my car and Zach's car, other than mine's a four wheel drive pickup high off the ground, is uh, I have a four litre V6 and Zach is a lot smaller. Also, I need a bigger car because I'm a much bigger person than Zach. I weigh 110, Zach only weighs 70 or so. It's 
go. That's my only worry. I'm worried if I'm even in shot high. <laughs> um, I'm worried that my downfall will be due to everyone else not being able to drive at the speeds that they should be able to. And not the fact that I'm going to be incapable of getting to those speeds. That or I feel like I'm gonna just get bullied a lot. Because either people either drive like 40 below whatever the speed limit is or 120 over. So I think there's going to be a lot of battling, let's say. So now I won't lie, I drove this route just so I, uh, I knew which way I'm going and like where I must stop and turn and stuff. Because I wasn't 100% sure. And I... I'm actually pretty confident that this is gonna be faster. I think this race might be a little bit too biased towards my car, actually. But I guess we'll have to see. speed bump and we do have a traffic light to deal with, not that there's anyone ever here. At the entrance to Rand Water. Come on, Come on Zach's gonna beat me. However, my dad wasn't the only one stuck at a set of traffic lights. Come on, the lights is green. What is wrong? And let's go. My major concern is going to be traffic as I stroke my beard. My major concern is going to be traffic. I think traffic's really going to halt progress. I should actually probably put my phone to charge. Because I have to cross a lot of busy intersections and maneuver through pretty hectic traffic, well, I say hectic traffic, it's just more fast moving traffic, which is actually worse in my opinion. Alright, yeah, so this is one of the intersections I was worried about. Actually even gonna open my window, I'm very sweaty. I apologise for windows. the ability for me to bury my foot into the throttle, my dad had hit the first sand road. This is where he starts to build his lead. We've made time to turn onto some sand road which crosses over the Cliff River.
fair advantage to Zach. I have a quad bike in the way, down to 20 kilometers an hour. But despite this, I was still hitting traffic problems myself. Now we encounter my next concert. I'm stuck behind a taxi. Oh yeah, one of the only other, well, one of the other concerns that I have is there's a few cops on the road today. I'm concerned we are going to hit cop problems. Alright, hitting the stop street, have to wait. Waiting for Mr. Audi. Where's Mr. Audi? Here I had pretty much a straight shot all the way down to the shops so I could really put thought in. Unfortunately my dad had just hit his open stretch of tarmac as well meaning he could open up that 4 litre V6 of his producing far more horsepower than my poor Miata's. Okay so here we are going back onto a section of tour road up towards the Heineken Brewery. to wind up this V6 while we can. Okay, got to turn on to the last stretch of the uh, last 200-300 meters of tar and we're on to uh, sand road, some gravel road for the rest of the trip until we get to the shopping center. Come along, come along, don't wait, don't wait. Go, go, go before the truck gets here. My dad had just hit the main straight for his dirt road. This is where he can really pick up pace and really close the gap on me. Unfortunately it was at this point that I essentially done goofed and I forgot to press the record on my camera. So unfortunately I lost a fair little bit of footage between the main straight. Despite this, I felt I was making good progress. I was maintaining a good 80 km per hour, the speed limit, as well as I was hitting no traffic. I was concerned that I was going to get lost, but I managed to stay on the right path all the way until my next turn. I was not the only person with issues though. Traffic on the dirt road. Some slow boat trying to make his way. Dust. I try and overtake, but I can't see what's coming. Wait till we go past the bends, heading up towards Lawrence's turn off. You can do that uh, overtake. For now, we're stuck. Unfair advantage to Zach. We got stuck behind a uh, van of sorts. One of those delivery Iveco things. And it was going too slow. It's still going too slow. We're losing big time. Dust on the windscreen, not that away. Looking on 360, Zach is slightly ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, that uh, van was an unfair advantage to Zach. We can tell him. Advantage or not, I had just hit my final straight. I was close. I don't know how close, but I was close. I don't know how close my dad was either. Speed limits are only 60 here. Oh, shit. I don't know where my dad's gonna be. The shop's just around the corner. Yeah, here it is now. Shit. I'm not seeing him. I don't see him. Come on! I don't think he's here. I think we won. I don't see him. <laughs> I think that's it. I think I've won. I won? <laughs> I actually don't know. No, I think I won. I think I've won. and I think that concludes that the Miata is better than the Hilux. The Miata is not better than the Hilux. I think you got lucky and I got unlucky. And as your reward, you can wash my van. Look how dirty it is. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll see about that. No, but I think we have very conclusively prove, proven that my car is by far superior. Okay. Whatever. Maybe we'll need to have a rematch. One day. One day. Alright guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of our new challenge series. If you guys enjoyed, please like the video. If you didn't, just like the video and tell me how I, how I can improve. Subscribe and let me know what else I could do for the new challenge series. Cheers. And with that, back to the studio. <laughs> and with that, back to the studio. <laughs> Afternoon viewers of Zach's little vlog. Radios are on. You there? Yeah, I am here. Okay, good. I'm ready to go. Is your cell phone recording on the dash? Yes, it is. I'm sweating already. <laughs> Kelly's trying to film me in all this dust. I think she's bonkers. I can't see anything. I can barely see the car in front. Done.